Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Today I have a video for you, uh, basically giving you a guide or, or some tips to build a, a, a monster gaming computer for under 700 bucks. And uh, I am gonna go with uh, AMD. Their processors are the shit for what you pay for, you know? Meaning you get the best bang for your buck. Bullshit. Okay. And, um, for the processor, I went ahead and got a FX eighty three twenty. It was from one seventy nine. It was on sale for one thirty nine at Micro Center. Not bad. It's an eight core processor. It's like the little brother of the eighty three fifty, I believe. So for gaming, this is a fucking beast. And for one thirty nine. It's hard to go against it, you know. Intel's pretty good. The i5, uh, that 189, I believe. So, you, like $50 more expensive. The 8350 is a little bit more expensive, but I'm trying to keep the cost down. So, yeah, it might benefit in some applications, but for gaming, this is more than good enough. So, nice 8 core processor, 139. And when you bundle it up with a motherboard in Micro Center, I got the 978G43 MSI motherboard. Guess for how much? 30 bucks. 30 bucks. They they offer some free motherboards that didn't have SATA 6. I needed SATA 6 mainly for the SSDs and faster hard drives. But uh, if you want to keep the budget even low lower than what I'm gonna uh, suggest here. You can go with one of those free boards featuring a whole bunch of SATA 3 ports. This has SATA 6, 6 SATA 6 ports, and it's a full ATX board. You can do SLI, I think. Can you do SLI? No, you can't. You can only do Crossfire X. Cannot do SLI. Doesn't well at least it doesn't say SLI but do crossfire. Well anyway, 30 bucks for this board. And little ten dollar keyboard just to start off with. Save up for a nice mechanical one later. With RAM. I went with uh, crucial ballistic sports. 55 bucks for 8 gigs at 1600 megahertz. Pretty sweet. Now, for 399 I get this amazing beast mouse. It's from Inland. It's a PS2 PS2 mouse. 399 You can't beat that. No, I'm just kidding. Just, just to get my friend started on Nana's gaming uh, rig. Eventually, you have to save up for a nice keyboard. Richie, if you listen to me, as soon as you get money, dump this in the garbage. We got for power supply. Now, there are, I, I saw a couple of $15 power supplies that it, it was like almost a no brainer. Yeah, get, a, get one of those, but for the car that I'm going for and I do plan overclocking and stuff I didn't want to do a cheap power supply and have it blow up on my friend so we got a CX500 it's 80 plus bronze certified so it hopefully doesn't blow up in his face and uh, got this bad boy from 79.99 it was on sale for I believe 50 bucks 49.99 Plus a mail-in rebate, so that's what we went. So, uh, oh, one last thing. I this is optional. I do plan on overclocking the CPU, and I decided to get a Cooler Master Hyper Two One Two Evo, and uh, for thirty bucks, you can't go wrong. Now you can. You can overclock with the AMD's uh, stock cooler, but uh, 
30 bucks. Let's go with this. And we're all gonna fit this in a Cooler Master 912 half case. This, I believe, was 57 bucks with a $10 mail in rebate, which brings it down to 47 You gotta mail it in, so. Um, total for this came out to 400 bucks 400 bucks with tax with Illinois state taxes and uh, we did say this was for gaming so we can't really do this with our graphics card I went on Craigslist uh, in Chicago and found a GTX 660 Ti the guy had receipts uh, he did register it the warranty is transferable uh, it's the super clock version and he let it go for 200 bucks so 400 we're on the $600 price range right now here it is EVGA GTX 660 Ti super clock it's a beast I was running it last night on my personal build just trying it out make sure it works and I don't have to like call EVGA for a new one uh, kicks ass kicks ass and at the moment on a single 680 monitor for 200 bucks you really can't go wrong with this now there are a lot of um, newer cards like th th this card for example new is around 309 bucks and you might find it on sale for like 289 you might find that on sale. They're not always on sale. And, um, I mean, find it used with warranty. 200 bucks. Can't go wrong. So, and just before you buy this shit, like, you know, you get a, a super good deal on a card, but, like, you know, you meet up in a public place, give you the card, and shit, maybe a dead card, and, uh, and you won't know it until you install it. So, Make sure you can test. If you go on like buying used stuff, try it out. And um, I wouldn't personally recommend building a computer on a cheap power supply. So if you can spend fifty bucks on a uh, bronze certified eighty plus um, power supply. Do that. You don't want to cheap out on that. You can cheap out on on a keyboard. I mean, for now, ten bucks whatever maybe get some cheap ram I don't know buy that used too I was gonna buy a used kit a vengeance kit but some people just never reply or like they live 100 miles away from you and they just post in your city because they live in a fucking shit whole town so I mean if you do that for all you crazy uh, users if you're gonna post something that's close to or nearby a city make sure you can actually d deliver it to to people in their city otherwise they'll don't post it in the city if you don't live in the city because you know it's inconvenient and you ask the guy hey you want to meet halfway ah, yeah, 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 yeah. and then if you meet halfway you really can't test things so that's my experience on Craigslist uh, I'm gonna get, go put this together and give you some benchmarks Give you some gameplay and shit. See how this thing actually runs. I didn't. I didn't go with a monitor. Um, I'll leave that for my friend to decide what he wants to do. So, I'm building this for him. So he can start gaming with us on PC. We just started gaming on PC. I love it. I moved on from. I migrated from PlayStation Three. I still play zombies on PlayStation Three. That's the only thing I play in play in, in, in console. I do I do play zombies on PC, but none of my friends are on PC, so uh, I am hoping to play with some cool people. So add me up on Steam, La Bestia Man Max. I'll put the link on the on the comments, uh, and hopefully we can stream gameplay or record it and upload it. So um, stay tuned. Okay, I'm finally done with the build. Took me a few hours. And uh, I think I forgot to mention what hard drive I went with. 
I used a spare 2.5 inch uh, 750 gigabyte hard drive that came off a MacBook. And I used that to keep the, the cost low. I mean, I could have spent another 60 bucks for a nice terabyte uh, 7200 RPM, but uh, we're on a $700 budget, so uh, that's what we went. I figure a better graphics card will benefit since we, we can always upgrade to better hard drives some other time. And I did remove the cage for the top um, hard drive base to, to have some nice airflow going through straight into the graphics card. It's a, there's a fan there. That's one of the reasons I chose this case. I saw that the airflow was good. There were cheaper cases that, you know. 30 bucks that will do get the job done, but uh, didn't have the 2.5 uh, brackets, or you, you could not put 2.5 drives natively, basically. So adding the cost of a few fans and a few brackets will pretty much bring it at, at this price point. And we have room to spare for the graphics card. Some of those were like uh, tight, very tight. So we get nice, nice airflow. And um, the top, the top fan, I, it came off the Corsair 600 T case. That one on top there. I, I use an H100i. That thing had to come off, and there's nowhere else to put it. So, uh, good thing I kept it. Came in handy for this for this build. And also I had a spare 120 mil fan. So now we get the car nice and cool. Getting air in from both the side and the front, and exhausting it out the top and the, and the rear. Nice airflow, and then the Evo cooler is blowing air up, so you should get some nice airflow in this case. Cable management, it's it's okay. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing I've seen, but uh, this is more for a practicality standpoint. You know, who cares about looks? This nice little cover will close it, and you won't be able to see it anyways. Now. You get the silver pin in, in, the, in the inside, which matches well with the clear LED from the fans. And uh, that's it. And I did run some num. Uh, I ran 3D. What was it? Fire Strike through from 3D Mark. That's what it is. And this is the numbers we got. We got uh, 5184 total score. Nice graphics score. Sweet physics score and these are all the settings I use it's, uh, 6, 60 Ti EVGA the 8320 AMD processor overclocked to 4.3 things a bot oh, fucking beast for 130 bucks 139 it's not bad at all and uh, 8 gigabytes of 1600 memory I'm crucial so that's, that's it. Um, get rid of your consoles and shit. Start gaming on PC, guys. Thanks for watching.